First one is pretty obvious. We want to deliver well through service if we want to be powered by service. Um, as you can see, we're a little weird, so that's number three, create fun and a little weirdness because we believe in having a good time at work, not just um, be, s be serious all the time. The, the thing that probably trips us up the most is be humble because there are people that can add to the top line, the bottom line of the company, and they're really, really good. The problem with people who are really, really good sometimes is they're not very humble, uh, but we don't enjoy hanging out with arrogant people, so um, we don't really necessarily want them to be part of the company. And it's hard to turn those people away. So when we interview for core values, we have the hiring manager interview for the, t the technical fit, whether they can do the job. And we have our HR team interview for the core values because they're a little more independent about how they think about this stuff. Um, a lot of we get a lot, a lot of this. This will never work at my company. Um, and we're not saying that you should ha adopt Zappos' core value. You can adopt whatever core values you want. Um, if you like arrogant people, you can scratch out our number 10 and put, we like arrogant people. But the, the main thing is you want to commit to those core values, and you want to get alignment and get everybody aligned on those values and make decisions based on those values. Um, the other thing about creating something special is you have to have a great vision that's bigger than yourself, um, that changes the world, and we we'll often talk about ch you know, chase the vision, not the, not the money. And uh, this is kind of a good quote from Puff Daddy to Notorious B.I.G. about don't chase the paper, chase the dream. It's just fun to throw something like that in a presentation. Um, for all you entrepreneurs there, like the real question is really, like, what would you be passionate about doing for 10 years if you didn't make a dime? And a dime may be a little extreme. We all have our basic needs that we need met. So, but above and beyond that, if you have your basic need met, you have food, you have clothing, you can send your kids um, to school, what, what else do you need be beyond that? Well, really nothing. So if you don't make any more money beyond that, um, what would you do for the next 10 years? And it, most entrepreneurial experiences don't always succeed. So you don't want to go through 10 years and then say, oh, my life sucked because I was doing something I wasn't passionate about. Um, the, for, for your employees, um, sort of ask what the vision and what the purpose in, in their work beyond money or profits. And the real question is, what do they see as the light at the end of the tunnel? What, what, is the, what are they looking for beyond money? And we think about that a lot at Zappos. Really, the, the thing is, there's a very big difference between motivation and inspiration, and um, a lot of us have a lot of good training about motivation, but not so much on inspiration, and uh, you can motivate by giving a bonus, you can motivate by um, giving recognition, you can mo motivate by fear. Um, but what's interesting to us is, like this picture here, um, who do you want to work for? Um, and inspiration, really, the Greek word, the, it comes from the Greek root, and it means God-inspired. So it has to come from a higher purpose than just um, profits or, or money. Um, this is the evolution of our brand, and we show this because that's how Zappos evolved. We, every time we believe that we can increase the vision, we did. So in 1999, when Nick founded the company, it was about selection um, because he couldn't find the shoes that he wanted. Um, in 2003, we decided, well, everybody else is focused on e-commerce e creating selection, so we wanted to be about customer service. We didn't want to compete just on price. In 2005, we decided that the culture and the core values of the company are what the plaf what's going to be the platform for allow us to build more and more businesses. Uh, we, def we redefined our notion of customer service in 2007 to be about providing a personal emotional connection with the customer. And in 2009, we're moving on to delivering happiness. So there's a lot of business talk. I think we should just take a step back if we really want to learn about happiness. And so what is your, I'm going to ask the whole audience here what your goal in life is. And we'll just have a little sort of, sort of question. You can answer this to yourself. Some people might say grow a company, uh, get a great job, boyfriend or girlfriend, be healthy. You can ask why. And they might have different reasons. I want to grow a company so I can retire early. I want a great job so I can make some money. But you can keep asking why and why, and they'll have answers and why. And what, what we think actually happens at the end of this is you end up at this thing called